loose, wet meat in between a soft bun. Oh God, that doesn't sound good. But when you have loose, wet meat prepared like this, it is something special. One of the best sandwiches on planet Earth, the Sloppy Joe. Let's turn up the heat. Doesn't that look amazing? So the Sloppy Joe, if you're not familiar with it, pause, I'm sorry. But if you continue, you're about to get real familiar. Right after I show you these, no, not those buns. God, get your head out of the gutter. These buns. If you want buns like this, go watch that video and then please come back here. If you don't want to make your own, by all means, go to the store and get some. But I'll tell you this right now, they're not going to be as good as mine. No biggie, it's fine. And now we're moving on to the meat. First, you're gonna bring in a big bowl, followed by a little bowl. In this little bowl, toss in a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. And on top of that, one teaspoon of cold water. It'll foam up just slightly, but just give this a quick little mix. Now, the reason you're adding this baking soda is because it's gonna change the pH balance of that meat. It's gonna keep it moist and tender while you cook it. Bring in your meat. Weighing in at one pound. And then add your soda water to that meat, along with one teaspoon of salt. Get in there with your hand and mix it up. Set this soda meat off to the side. Now we need to chop up some vegetables. Not too many, just a couple. I know this is the boring part, but I'll go quick. Bring in one medium sweet onion, Cut this bad boy in half because you only need a half cup. You don't have to measure it exactly. Just use a half an onion and it'll be close enough. Throw it in a bowl and next are your two peppers. One bell pepper, one poblano. These will give two different types of flavors. I'm mainly using two different kinds because I couldn't decide on which one I wanted. So you're getting the best of both worlds. I'm just gonna be using a quarter cup of this bell pepper. So cut off a chunk that's at least close enough and dice it up just like the onion. Next is that poblano and we're using the entire thing. Cut it up once again just like the onion and the bell pepper. The last thing you need to do is bring in two cloves of garlic. Peel the garlic and now cut, uh, no, don't cut it. We're gonna be grating this. Bring in your microplane. We're grating instead of chopping because I kind of want to paste and I want this garlic to just disappear in the sauce. This garlic is gonna be like a magician. You're gonna toss it in and it's just poof, but it's gonna pack a punch. Now that that boring stuff's out of the way, it's time for the fun part. Trust me, it's fun. I know there's gonna be a sh ton of ingredients. Just bear with me, they're all necessary. Pan down on medium high heat, tossing in about two to three tablespoons of oil. Into this oil, add your onions and peppers. Cook this for about five to 10 minutes until those onions start to take on a little bit of a color. No caramelization, you just want the edges to turn just slightly golden. At this point, you can add in your garlic paste. Once it's in, just toss it up for about 10 seconds and it'll probably be gone. Now you can add in your baking soda beef and make sure you really, really, really crumble this up into perfect little beef pellets. We can lower the heat because the meat is probably pretty close to being fully cooked. Now we're going in with the seasoning. Going in with a half teaspoon of garlic powder, a half teaspoon of onion powder, two teaspoons of paprika, and a half tablespoon of chili powder. Last but not least, one teaspoon of mustard powder. And a little pinch of salt. Give all those seasonings and that meat a quick toss just to bring out those flavors. Open up everything. Get it all smelling absolutely glorious. The ingredient that's gonna thicken this sauce and bind up that fat, you could probably guess it's flour going in with three tablespoons. Give it a quick toss, mix this up, just to make sure that starchy flavor kinda gets cooked out. And at that point, we're gonna be creating this sauce. Add in three tablespoons of ketchup and three tablespoons of tomato paste. Now for the main flavor of this sauce, two and a half tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. I'm not saying it correctly because every time I try and say it, someone says I'm saying it wrong because you guys are know-it-alls. Not all of you, just some of you and you know who you are. So I'm gonna say it wrong just to really make you mad. Next is one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of brown sugar, and then one cup of really any kind of stock. I'm using beef stock. Mix all those ingredients together, create that sauce, bring it up to a boil, reduce that heat, and bring it down to a simmer. Now after about 10 minutes of reducing, taste for salt, and if that salt is perfect, test the consistency of that sauce. So all you're gonna do is just run your spoon through the meat, and if it leaves a little bit of a trail and that doesn't fill in right away, it's perfect. Now we have to, I repeat, 
have to griddle these buns. I'm pretty sure you can figure this out on your own. Slice your bun in half, add some butter to a hot pan, toss that bun into that hot butter, and boom, just like that, perfect griddled buns. Bring that bun over, open that bad boy up, bring over that perfect meat mixture, get one nice scoop, and dump it right on top of that bottom bun. Oh man, look at that. Now I know I said it was a sloppy joe, but I'm gonna kinda keep it a little on the neat side. Grab that top bun, top that sandwich, and right there is first name sloppy, middle name neat, last name Joe. And here we go. For the best part, I got meat falling out this thing. I think it's just time we eat this bad boy. Cheers. If you don't end up with a smiley face of sauce, I don't know what you're doing. I do know you're doing something wrong. Let me go clean up real quick, one second. All right, better? I think so. This right here is absolutely delicious. The buns, super soft, you can't go wrong. Definitely make them. The meat, it's thick, it's gooey, it's nice and balanced with the salt and the peppers and the beef coming through. Oh man, it is tasty. You should definitely go make this. If you're a fan of the sloppies, you'll be a fan of this. If you've never had one before, you're about to become a fan. If you like this video, give it a big fat thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and until next time, peace.